emotional characteristics. In this session, we will be learning about emotional characteristics of adolescents, educational implications. At the end of this session, you will be able to identify emotional characteristics of adolescents, explain educational implications related to emotional development. Let us look at the emotional characteristics of adolescents. Complex to identify emotions. As we all know that at teen age, we have lots of mood swings. Sometime we are happy, sometime we are sad, sometime we are anxious. So, there is a complexity of emotions which teenagers go through. Develop abstract emotions. At this stage, adolescents face abstract emotions. They go through such emotions which they cannot describe at time. At the same time, they are happy as well as anxious. They are jealous as well as happy. So, they go through the abstract emotion which they find it difficult to explain or share with others. Emotional feelings widened. At this stage, the child's emotions are not limited to his parents or his family. At this stage, the emotional feelings get widened up. His emotions are widened up to his peers, his school, his friends, his country and sometime even at global level. Bearing of tensions. At this stage, they enter into taking tensions. At this stage, they enter into the phase where they start taking tensions. Tensions can be related to their personal life, their friends, their aspirations in life and so on. Capacity of sharing emotions. As they are experiencing many emotions, so they would like to share those emotions with others. And nowadays we see on various social media sites, teenagers they keep sharing their emotions with others, their friends especially. Loyalties expand. At this stage, they become very cohesive to their friends. They don't, they keep the secrets of their friend. They don't want to reveal any information from their group. They start forming their gangs. You must have seen, you know, whatever, like sometimes some of your friends may get into sub habits or they have their secrets. They make sure that they don't reveal it to other friends or to their parents. Realism emotional experience. What do we mean by this point? Realism. Now, they are no more into the fantasy world in terms of emotion. Though they daydream, but at this stage, they are aware about the reality. They know what they are experiencing at current moment. So, they are ready for rejection as well as acceptance. Reviewing of aspiration. At this stage, they start reviewing their aspiration. Again, there is a reality check. Maybe during their later childhood stage, they may be thinking that, okay, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer. But at this stage, they again review their aspiration. Does my aptitude match with my capabilities or does my interest area be supported by my parents or whatever? So, here there is again reviewing of their aspiration. Sometime it may lead to some changes also in their career goals. Toleration of aloneness. You must have noticed many a times, uh, you know, teenagers, they don't want to uh, be accompanied by their parents. You know, they ask their parents, you go for a party, I don't want to go for it. So, they like to be alone at home. They like to spend time with their own self. So, they start developing tolerance for aloneness. 
इंक्रीज कंपैशन दिस इज अ स्टेज वेयर दे गेट सम पॉजिटिव इमोशंस आल्सो वेयर दे डेवलप कंपैशन फॉर सोसाइटी दे दे हैव एम्पथी दे वांट टू डू समथिंग फॉर द सोसाइटी वेदर यू नो यू मस्ट हैव सीन व्हेन देयर इज अ फ्लड इन द सिटी यू मे सी दैट देयर आर सम यंगस्टर्स हु गिव अ हेल्पिंग हैंड और you know anywhere wherever there is an someone met with an accident and you see that you know youngster coming up and trying to help the victims so they develop a kind of a compassion which leads to you know to do to do something for their society to do something for their nation so this is a stage uh, where there is a maximum uh, you know ups and down in terms of emotion sometimes they are happy sometimes they are sad and there are a lot of variety of emotion taking place the the range of emotion has expanded and adolescent they don't know how to handle these emotion so that leads to stress and strain so here comes the role of a teacher due to lot of emotional changes which takes place among adolescents they feel lot of stress and strain so what can be done in that direction is one of the solution is redirection we as a parents or teachers need to redirect their emotions maybe in sports in music or in any other co curricular activities sublimation what does this sublimation mean sublimation means to purify at this stage they are attracted toward opposite sex they have lot of emotional changes which are taking place but as we live in a society and we cannot you know fulfill all of our desires our emotions so we need to sublimate those negative emotions negative energies into positive ones maybe the one who feel very uh, emotional or romantic can be asked to write poems on it catharsis catharsis is nothing but release of emotions we need to create platforms where students are given chance to get rid of their emotion or to release their emotion so for that dramatization role play can be organized in schools inhibition if there are certain emotions which are not healthy it is a duty of teachers and parents to inhibit those emotions mental occupation which means we need to engage adolescents mentally so that their mind is actively engaged and it doesn't get diverted to negative tasks positive suggestions mentors counselors teachers parent should provide positive suggestion timely to the teenagers so this is a stage uh, where there is a maximum uh, you know ups and down in terms of emotion sometimes they are happy sometimes they are sad and there are a lot of variety of emotion taking place the the range of emotion has expanded and adolescent they don't know how to handle this emotion so that leads to stress and strain so here comes the role of a teacher i think when students are going through this emotional turmoil we need to provide affectionate environment and secondly you know just by saying it is not enough we need to be a role model where we need to demonstrate how to control emotion how to manage emotion and how to be emotionally balanced so that they can learn from us at the same time we need to appreciate their creativity in terms that we need to channelize their emotions in some creative task it may be li- related to some literary or non literary thing and we need to appreciate them so that there is a feeling of positivity among them 
in schools it is very common that we always are after you know iq so it is high time that we need to nurture the eq that emotion question also has to be taken care of and when we talk about managing emotions you know being self aware interpersonal relationship all these things need to be done at teenage because this is a stage when they are at the threshold of their release of their emotions so if we as a teachers teach them how they can manage their emotions successfully this will help them in a better and smooth life later on thank you